Hey guys, I know you can't hear me, but Smaug the DM here, and today we are at Epcot. Look at the giant golf ball. <laughs> so I'm here with um, Shadow and uh, Llama. Hey, come on, we gotta go. Yeah, we're going. I'm going. So it's a nice fountain over there. Now, I may have to just, like, you know, turn off the, the this recording whenever I'm going on rides and such, but, you know, we're there. I'll be vlogging for, like, most of the day. Heading right over to Test Track. Heading right over to Test Track. By Chevrolet. Dude, I want to see how it is. You guys don't even know. This is just awesome, period. I mean, you may not have a heart out there. I know. I know. One of you out there does not have a heart. But I'm telling you right now, you do. Because it's Disney, goddammit. <laughs> I mean, look at this. There's Mission Space right over there. It's dark, but uh, it's Mission Space right over there. And then we are heading, oh, monorail. Um, we are heading right over that way. That's for uh, Test Track. Test Track is awesome. Yes, it is. I agree with you, Llama. I don't know how long the single rider line is, because it wouldn't give it on the web, on the uh, app. So all I know is the uh, 70. Well, that was, that was, it won't be 70 minutes for the. Uh, There's Test Track right over the, there. Uh, I know it's dark again. Right for but the free. For There's the, Test Track. Uh, tap your screen, it'll adjust the brightness. Well, I, don't, I can't really adjust the brightness when I'm in the middle of... Oh, no, I can. Huh, that's it taps awesome. it and it changes it. Yeah, good point. I just did that. There's Test Track. That? that surprises me. <laughs> and then we're going to go right in. I'm going to probably be sitting in line for like 15 Damn, minutes. That's the and... Look, the cigarette wait has zero minutes. Wow. And then the standby. You can't tell, but the standby is like 70 minutes. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Wait, what is the uh, oh fast pass entrance? And then the, the, the single rider all the way over there, zero. What the hell? It says zero, it's probably more like five, ten minutes. Probably. Just because like they're just lying. Never, it's never a straight walk. Yeah, no, it's not. Especially with the rides that's popular. Alright, we're gonna be in line, we're gonna go ride, and I'll be back. Alright guys, Smaug back here and uh we're getting back on test track. Really? Really? Nice in this car, but I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna get him back on. So there's nothing really entertaining other than the line or single or no, not standby. Standby is like forever, taking forever. I'm gonna go pick out my car. I'm picking. Whoop. So I'm English, goddammit. Do I love the power? And let's see here. I want to go with the 65 one. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. <laughs> Not much of a big deal. I should have had flames, but I, I wasn't able to do that. So my my other party's all the way up the other thing. It's just other guys. No big deal. As you can see, the line all the way up is like packed for single because it's like 10 minutes or so. Something like that. So, well, I'm gonna get on the ride once again. I'm gonna get on it. I might record the power test just to show you guys how awesome it is. And I'll be right back, I'm hoping. Sorry guys, quick um, update, but uh, I just wanted to show you the, uh, the motor engines that are up here before you get on the ride. There they are. They look cool as hell. I mean seriously, one of them I think is a hypercharger and one of them is a supercharger in there. But I could be wrong, they could have just removed uh, both of these, but who knows, who knows. You can't really see the other model because it's behind this one, but uh, it's there. Ah, hang on. You can see it just if these people get out of the way. Right there. Right there. There it is. It's the other model. 
Like that's the back end of it, and then there's the uh, right there. There's there's the other one right over there. So just wanted to show you that guys that for all you sports people out there, all you car people out there, and hopefully I'll be back with a power test. Here comes the final test. There we go, power test. Power test. I did it for you guys. There we go. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back from Trust Track, and uh, now we're just walking around the countries. And guess what? I'm totally not racist. Our money going out and the drugs coming in. And I said, we need to build a wall. So we're continuing the walk. Norway, great country. Over the Vikings, swear to God. Although I think this is gonna be turned all into frozen stuff, so mind you that this is um, not gonna happen. Okay, so guys, there's been a change of plans in the schedule. Um, half the party had pretty much split off into um, the 70 minute wait for a uh, test trek up here. And the other half of the party went to the frozen ride all the way in Norway, which you can't see. So I am literally out here in Disney. There's a back lane to it, just going back to Test Trek. Um, where I just literally got my favorite drink right there. That's a like strawberry smoothie. It's it, guys, just don't question it. Well, I mean, question it on comments if you want to, but as to why this is my favorite drink. I don't mind, but I'm going to let you know that instead of going across all the other countries and being racist about them, um, <laughs> I, I hate to be that, I hate to be that, but um, we're going to head right over to Soren and hopefully uh, we'll get on that and we'll, I'll record the line as best as possible, but there's literally nothing in there for you guys to see. So that is what we will be doing when I get back. So Alright, Smaug back. We are um, heading towards the land now for Soren. <sighs> Got Llama and uh, Shadow there. Yeah, we'll get we'll get drinks, guys. There's Just... a good place in the building, so we can go ahead and get to a drink there. Yeah, we'll, we'll go inside the buildings, but there it is. Right all the way over there is actually Soren, <laughs> sort of. Not, not on the floor. It, it's inside. It's inside, it's guys. Bang Max. <laughs> Good God. Officer, he is telling the truth. Mm -hmm. What the? What's wrong with you? Low battery. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Try to keep it together. I'm healthcare or personal Bang Max companion. He's a big fluffy marshmallow. Yes, he is. He's awesome. I love a big fluffy marshmallow. I know. He's a badass marshmallow. <laughs> He's a badass marshmallow. I love that. I'll give you credit on that one. Motto, motto to live by. And what's pretty cool is that the monorail, it'll pass through the entirety of the park. Oh, there's crows on there. There's like birds on there. What is that big like building over there? What is That's like the imaginary area over there. Oh, okay. They're gonna get rid of that though. They are? Yeah. I hear they're gonna get rid of it. 
You know, there's an island in the middle of the lake. Kind of one of the so I went with I went with you, and I was telling you about this. There's the land. Can you even help confirm or deny this rumor that the Tomorrowland Speedway and Magic Kingdom will eventually get removed to make way for a Tron oh. coaster like the one in Shanghai Disneyland? Really? I, I was hearing I was like, hearing a rumor about that. Yeah, but unless they expand, because I doubt they're gonna take that whole thing. Yeah, no. But that thing's in there forever. Yeah. So. But I mean, you wouldn't get rid of Space Mountain though. That's well, like no. that's like the number one no, ride no, there. You, know, that you get rid and you expand back, like all that back area that's kind of behind it, all that wooded area, or like the flat grassy areas. Yeah. Expand into that because the Tron coaster isn't that big, but it's fun. Well, I don't. I wouldn't think Tron is like that, that great because you know you Tron didn't it? work out really well. The newer Tron didn't work out so well. The older Tron. That was fantastic. I'll let you, I'll well, probably do a movie review on that, guys. Well, cause it was a um, because the coaster is like where you sit in like the motorbike prone position. There's like, and that's your coaster. That is a it's basically awesome. like a uh, test track, but and bike form. And you don't make a you don't make a car. It's like a, just a plain coaster. It's not like a it's not like a test track coaster. It's a coaster. It's just a plain yes. Yeah, Space Mountain's a plain coaster, guys. There's like nothing too nothing too crazy about it. So here's the land, Let's go. Oh, wait, no. pretty much, yeah, down, downstairs and then downstairs is where Sworn is. So, gotta love it. So, I mean, I didn't. I'm not gonna show you the guys the line because it, there's nothing to it. And We're gonna get off. There is those cool things. There are all the cool. Uh, there's the cool signs, but they're not really what that the great. Remember the big interactive things that they have on the walls? Yeah, but for the fast pass line, it, it's not there. You don't interact. Yeah. I wonder how, I wonder how so long So basically, has basically, guys, I'm gonna shut off the video for right now. We're gonna ride Soren, and we'll be on our merry way to the countries again. So, what? You wanna be first? No, I'm fine. Okay. And there we go. There we go. Oh. It's just the image for uh, the, uh, the weights that everybody has to go through. So, uh, yeah. This is Soren. Meet in line. <laughs> just shoot me. One more. No, we're not going to Greece. We're going to go to Africa. In Egypt, because that is where that is where crap happens. The country's in war right now. All right, so you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you the footage because I think everybody in the program has seen it. So we will be off the ride here soon, and we'll be on our way to the very end of the country. So I'll just, boom. just kidding. I'll show the show. I changed my mind. Sydney, oh, Sydney, Sydney, Australia. Going to Fiji. Fiji. I would prefer the Caribbean, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Then I'm going to Brazil. Oh, there's Argentina. I, no, why, why are you stopping in Brazil? Go to Argentina. It's so much better. No, stop. 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 Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. There it is. Woo! Soaring around the world. It's a person from Argentina. It's yellow and black like so. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll be getting boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. <laughs> Next, fasten your seatbelts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. Like that. Like that's gonna. Oh, we're all open. 
I swear to pal. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is, seat, seat, belt, carry on, and safety, strength, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Yeah, have a nice one. And we're going. Okay, so Smaug back and hate to say it, but I got update that there is a storm coming our way because it's Florida. Florida sucks. But besides that, um, I can't show you the other countries. So sorry, Swords, not going to Japan. It's not unusual to be or China. Mexico is the new China. Um, but we are heading over to Canada really quick. And um, I will show you guys when I get back home. But there is these funny as hell soaps. And I swear, to, I swear to you, these are like the best smelling soaps with the best jokes right on front of the label. I'm just saying. So I'll show you guys Canada really quick. It's over there. It's all this. And uh, when I get back home, I'll show you guys the soaps that I bought. Alright, so hey guys, it's Malik here. Um, when we were trying to get the, the actual bars of soap here, I don't know if you can tell in the bag, but we got soaked. Uh, the people I was with, uh, Llama, Shadow, and I, uh, we all got effing soaked for uh, these bars of soap. Which, I'm going to tell you guys, they are worth it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can find them on the internet or something like that, but uh, I'm going to show you some of the ones that I got, or the, the ones that I got, and then I can show the rest of them, because there were others. Uh, there's dinosaur dung. Um, not really dung. It smells actually like, uh, it smells minty. It's got like a, a minty, um, it's just got a minty, like, cinnamon, cinnamon scent to it, which is pretty cool. And then the two ones that I usually get, well, there's three, but there's, I had to restock these. Um, moose spit. Which is essentially, um, oh, do they tell you on the back? I can't, maybe, there you go. Yeah, so they use, like, all this other inorganic stuff, so it's kind of nice. This one is, yeah, it's got a bit of coconut in it. It's unique. These are all, like, unique. And then the final one, uh, Burt Bart's. So, this is like, uh, what is it? Eh. Yeah. I wanted to read just it so it's not furry. So, this one's like a, um, so this is like a cinnamon also as well. It's not as potent as the moose spit, but you can definitely see the smell of cinnamon in this one. There are others, though, too. Yeah, guys, there are other soaps to in that store, like the Saturn Sas like the Sasquatch Sweat, which is the one I usually get. The Snowman Poo, which is eh, it's an okay soap. Um, there's the Salmon Slobber. There's the like Dog Team Drool or Poop. I think it's Drool. You know, it's Drool. Um, there's Bear Breath. Um, there's the very very generic and bland. Um, true Canadian scent. Um, there's beaver butt. And then, for the, there's this one fancy one that, eh, it turned me away a little bit. It was like this Northern Light Dancers one. I didn't like it that much, but I figured you guys would like that. So, if you want to get them, you could get, go to Epcot and get them. I'm just saying, I bought these three because, you know, I wanted to try the Dino Dung, though. That one I want to try, and these two I just like to restock. So, that was today. I mean, look at me. Look at me right now. I'm in a uh, bathing suit right now. Re I, re I feel really terrible right now. So, that's it, guys. That was it for Epcot. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and make sure you um, watch this one before tomorrow because I will make, I don't know, some subtle references um, for tomorrow. But um, that's it, guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, see ya!